All right, so we're going to be going over Gundam Build Divers Episode 9 for the Easter eggs. Um, so I called it It's All Ogre now because basically it's uh, the episode is basically based on Ogre, Ogre, Ogre and his team. Um, so yeah, some pretty cool things what I found from this episode. Um, Doji's character development, you kind of learn more about why he's kind of like a douchebag in the beginning. Um, basically by the end of the day he is just um, asking for acknowledgement from his older brother so if you want to watch the episode you can go down below the screen right now and link below check it out um, take a look and watch it through Gundam.info so I'm gonna go over some of the things right now um, some of the inner, um, Easter eggs I found I didn't find as many as I thought I did but I found some pretty cool ones so we can get started oops so, of course, here we have the colony drop from Char's counterattack, which is really cool. Um, I know there's something to do with, you know, Pegasus as well. Uh, I believe that is the name of one of the ships in one of the Gundam series, which is cool. Um, so, they kind of mentioned that. Um, if you look at the map here, you can see there's the Zaft base. Um, so, I guess Zaft base is based in Africa, I guess. Um, the one right here, I can't read that one, but I believe that's definitely a base from one of the series. I just don't know which one. But if you happen to know, please comment below and, you know, definitely tell me what it is. Uh, this is actually a very important scene. So this is from the Gundam 0080 uh, series. So that one, you know, they kind of explained the episode a little bit. But basically that ship is to deliver the Gundam Alex uh, over to the other side 8 colony, I believe. Um, one of the colonies. So the Xeon with their Hygog and their Zegok uh, were trying to stop the ship from being flown over there. Uh, unfortunately, they fail. So, it's kind of a little bit about that uh, setting. So, these three characters, it kind of talks about Olga's team. Now, these two I want to talk about especially because the middle guy, um, I believe his name is Oboro. I got the name, I'm not too sure. Um, but this guy, he freaking looks like Mika, for sure, from Iron Blood Orphans. That's what I personally think. Uh, the bottom here, he looks like Lhasa from Gundam 00. So, I can show you a quick picture right now. So, looks like that guy. That's what he kind of reminds me of. And of course, Mika looks like Mika. Yep, definitely see the resemblance. Um, so this is the Monarch, uh, which is uh, this guy's uh, mobile suit right here. Um, he That's from Gundam Double Wing. Uh, oh, sorry, Gundam Wing. Um, one of Santa Rock's like, you know, mobile suit armies. Looks like that one. Um, this is actually a really cool model. So this is Doji's suit when he customizes it and it's it's really cool like it's a really sick model it has the epion tail um has pretty cool wings kind of looks like a dinosaur basically which is really cool um and again the episode is just like you really truly like understand like you know doji's pain of being acknowledged and you know being like the weakest one on the team so i've noticed a lot of these episodes are the main theme is that everyone works as a team, but that one person on the team always feels like they're not worth it, which is why they go on using the brake decals uh, to feel stronger. So it's kind of like a drug to suppress their feelings. Uh, in a way, that's kind of like how I see it as. So this scene is really cool, actually, because with this scene and what he does, actually, um, if you ever watch the double, sorry, um, double 080 series, so one of the scenes, uh, Andy from... Um, from the Xeon team, he is at a point where, like, you know, he has to stop the ship from, you know, being attacked. Um, but the problem is with that is, um, you know, he's being shot at a GM. And what happens is, so I'll sh pull it up right here. So this is kind of like what happens. So he gets shot, basically. Yeah, so he's trying to... So that was the exact same scene, basically, in this one, where he kind of jumps out of the way. Um, but obviously he dies uh, But Doji when he does it he actually avoids the attack which is cool So I'm glad he survived and get shot so quickly because he really I guess his determination to fight the double uh, uh, Ace um, basically um, So again, we found Patrick we all have been looking for that guy. So we found him which is cool Found the booty guy, and of course, like I always try to find every scene of how many times it shows his butt, like right here. It's like perfectly round, it's crazy. Um, this is really cool. So, this is when Doji's mobile suit actually becomes enraged with the brake decals and it shoots the laser out. Now, why is this important? Because um, in one of the Iron Blood for Orphans episode, um, actually shows that same beam. So, I can pull it up right here. So, this is the mobile armor. I don't know if sure if you remember it, but. 
he shoots out this huge beam as well, which is the, the mobile armor Hashmel, I believe. So it has the beam that shoots in the air. So I think that's what it's based off when it shows right here. Again, with the break decals, uh, you can see some of the mobile suits. Buster Gundam, Zaku Head, I believe it's a shoulder of maybe a, the Zaku warrior from uh, Seed. That's what I personally think. Um, wasn't sure what this arm was. I didn't get a chance to figure it out. But if you guys happen to know, please comment below. I'm not too sure which one it is. But uh, yeah, let me know on that. So those are all the videos I uh, Easter eggs I found from this video. But if you find anything else, like I said, comment below, like, and subscribe. Um, check out my other videos. And if you want to buy any of the model kits, it's also down below on, on Amazon for pretty cheap. So check out that link on the bottom. Uh, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Again, it's all over now. And uh, yeah, thanks again.